Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some RuneScape, shall we? Episcacat, Sir Theodore, Weebit, Carasquila, hello. Good to see you, everybody. All right. So, we are in Draenor because we are working on uh, finishing up the quest, or attempting to, called Do No Evil. So, we are on this quest, Do No Evil, and before we start, it's a good idea just to kind of, like, retrace our steps through this quest. So, um... We headed to the Mastaba, south of Uzer, and spoke with Senliton, the ancient ruler of the desert, the, you know, female mummy lady that we helped out earlier. She told me tales of her youth and shared her concerns for the desert. She asked me to help return the sacred monkeys to the desert for what reason I do not know. Um, indeed. Nickman! Good morning, good to see you. So, apparently there were monkeys that were indigenous monkeys, desert monkeys. They're all gone. And the, you know, kind of like baboon god or whatever uh, that's involved in this is also turned away from the people because the people have turned away from the monkeys. So we're trying to right this wrong. We're trying to kind of get this monkey equilibrium back in the desert. The goddess um, at Menken, that's the baboon god, uh, began life as a monkey and holds them firmly in her heart. Senliton believes that their absence is causing at Menken great offense. So this is part of the reason at Menken is not laughing and having a great time in the desert. Reintroducing them to the desert is necessary to return harmony to these barren lands. So this would be nice to, you know, get some harmony back in the barren wasteland that lies between al Qarid and Menaphos. I traveled to Ape Atoll, where I spoke with Mizaru, Kikazaru, and Iwazaru, the three wise monkeys. They were shocked when I mentioned the goddess's name, and instantly suspected me of being human. Crumbs! Crumbs, indeed. They knew who I was, but not before they really helped me. Um, I can't... It was actually... I'm kind of conflating some quests. That's my problem. Fading, good evening. Good to see you. Uh, I worked with, you know, uh, hear no evil, see no evil, uh, speak no evil, or whatever. But it was for the recipe for disaster quest for... Uh, a Wowage. And that's how, disguised as a monkey, I learned what the, the you know favorite dish was of a Wowage, and then learned uh, <laughs> that we could actually use his sweet tooth. Hey, Fernando, thank you for subscribing, my friend, to help him take an interest in colonizing an area of the desert by laboriously transporting Chaco ice that we had shaped into a monkey using the monkey amulet mold. And luckily, Nick Man led me around while I kept using ice magic, um, which I don't... Am I still attuned to this? I think I am. Uh, and I'm going to need to get off of this at some point so that I'm not using this kind of magic. That's right, Sir Theodore. And then, because I logged out when I was doing the part of the quest where I had to bring the monkey guard away using a banana trail, I lost my Gree Gree, and I went through the experience again of going back under the cave, getting all kinds of Gree Grees from the the baby monkey killing monkeys to get bones to use as part of the ritual to create 
a gree gree to transform into a monkey. It was all very complicated. But we're back. Now, admitting I was a human seemed like the only way to gain their confidence. Words weren't enough, however, and monkeys, they demanded that I show my true self. I distracted a watching guard, right? This is where we led it away with the bananas, and we gained some privacy. I pocketed my gree gree and revealed my true form. Okay, um, you do not pocket your gree gree if your pockets are full, which is something that you should learn from my devastation. To say the three wise monkeys were shocked would be something of an understatement. Having turned back into a monkey, I approached the three wise monkeys who were whispering frantically about Epmechan. Mizaru seemed to be testing me. He asked me about Ekmekan's changing heads. I managed to pass his quote-unquote test. Um, Mizaru then asked me to solve a ridiculous riddle about a monkey and a squirrel. I managed to solve it, I think. After growing tired of Mizaru's riddles and jokes, I threatened to leave. Uh, this seemed to stir the monkeys into action. After a bit of bluster, they agreed to accompany me. Finally, a breakthrough. Kikazaru thinks we'll need more monkeys and has told me to petition King Awoge into building a colony in the desert. Yes, I spoke with Awoge, who seemed more hooked on the idea of building a colony in Karamja. He didn't believe that the desert offered anything of worth. I suggested that the king might be interested in the chalk ices from Narda. To my surprise, the monkey king showed an interest. Hey! Sunday operator. Good to see you, my friend. Good evening. Oh, okay. It's forbidden. Sir Theodore. All right. I'll be careful. I guess, yeah, I could see the forbidden element here. I hope I don't have to fight anything. I might have to bounce back there and switch my magic alignment. Yeah, this, this journal is... Um, Whoa, wee bit. That is awesome. Frostpunk is so much fun. I'm I'm much further along in my play than what has been posted because I'm kind of giving some time for the videos, but I am having so much fun with that game trying to squeak out an existence uh, and survive the, the threats that the game throws at you. So I do really like this wrap-up. This is very well written. And it's super useful, and it would be great if you could put it on the screen, I agree, but it, but in a way that wasn't as, you know, intrusive as this. A Wobogay's interest grew as I described the tasty treat. He wants to try it, but only if it's in the shape of a monkey. I headed to Narda and spoke to uh, Roku, the chalk ice seller, about making the unusual chalk ice. He agreed to do so do so for 1,000 gold and has since retired. He made me a chimp ice, which is hilarious, but the unusual shape caused a magical imbalance because, of course, uh, Roku warned that it would melt. Using ice magic, I managed to keep the chimp ice frozen, and after a cross-country trek, I brought it to the Monkey King. On the strength of the chimp ice, a Wowake agreed to the colony and gave me a barrel of monkeys to help populate it. Heathron, good evening, my friend. So here's something funny about... I mean, th there's never not something funny about RuneScape, but I love the fact that Awoge's, like, entire decision as a ruler is predicated on, ch you know, the chimp ice. And it's probably distressingly close to the truth that many important decisions historically came down to, you know just swings of favor and moods in rulers where they're like, well, you know, they've got delicious cuisine, so let's take this course of action. Let's let's go for it. I collected the wise monkeys on my way back to the desert. They told me that the colony should be set up between the mountain camel's humps, which we found. That's all I need, more monkey riddles. The mountain camel was actually a rock formation. I carried the barrel to it and set up a desert monkey colony, which we did. 
Mizaru complained that the colony has no transport connection. He wants to put the colony on the Karpik network, right? And Ali was hesitant because the routes hadn't been successful. Ali Morisane wasn't even willing to talk about a new carpet route. With a bit of persuading, ahem, Ring of Keros, I managed to find out that he lost a magic carpet in a recent venture due to a sandstorm. Ali was planning to recover his lost goods by having Ava in Draenor Manor, like we swung her in somehow, build him a device for detecting metal, which she did, and we're now testing out. That's where we're at. <laughs> you know what, uh, Sir Theodore, isn't that great? I've put... It's like a... I was playing Stellaris last night. It's like the Barrel of Monkeys is a, a colony ship. You know? Like, he's like, okay, there's enough food, water, and monkeys in here to successfully build a colony. <laughs> Chef Smitty, good evening. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, I spoke to Ava who, after some good-natured belittling, upgraded my accumulator into an um, alerter, a device that could detect metal crates. I, li I like the recap and the language. Like, some of the stuff in this recap is amazing. It, you, if you didn't read it, you wouldn't have got these little tidbits. Like, the, the use of the word crumbs, I mean, maybe that's a colloquialism that I would be more accustomed to if I were, you know, British, but I'm not, and I don't hear it that much, and it's an awesome, like, you know, little expression or idiom to say when your plans are, you know, foiled. We did do that, Nick Man, and in the desert, no less, right? What is it with the desert and, and people and, and, you know, animals in barrels? And uh, Ava hid the crate in the manor grounds to test the alerter. After a bit of stumbling around, I managed to uncover it, and I have it in my inventory. I need to return to her and let her know that the alerter was a success. So that's where we are. So in my inventory, you'll see I have a metal crate that I got. I've got my Gree Gree. I did not lose this. I have the Ring of Karos. I don't think I'll need it. I have, well, all sorts of other doodads that... I even have protean items. It's things that I just do not need. Um, but that's okay. I don't think we'll need so much inventory space. I have an opal for reasons. Uh, uh, next week, uh, Lexi, I had a blast with Stellaris. Don't know what I'm doing, but having a great time with it. Making that empire bigger and bigger. We're going to cover the entire galaxy with incompetence. Oh, okay. I thought of this, by the way. And you guys tell me what your take on this is. It is a Pisca cat. You know what's funny, though? Ironically, most of the time in Gilinor, when you open up a crate or a barrel, it's empty. Nothing inside. Then sometimes... There just happens to be a person or a bunch of monkeys. Go figure. So here's my thought. You notice how that tree jumped up and hit me outside of Draenor Manor. Oh, God. Nick, man, you told me you wouldn't mention that again. I'm trying to f move on. So one thing I thought of, Siloom, <laughs> good evening, is... I was doing something, I think I was running to the water altar that is uh, southwest of Lumbridge. And I got hit by like a spider. It aggroed me. And you know, this is like the starter area. I wish, and I like this in games, they don't always do it. But I wish that if I got to a certain level of strength, something that was first level or, you know, a spider or that tree, it would do zero damage. Like, it's just a psychological thing where it's like, you see it hit you, but it's like, no, it just doesn't do anything to you. I know that one is just a, might as well be zero, but to see, like, the full resistance, like, I laugh at, it just makes me feel personally good. Okay, um, let's talk to Ava. Yeah, Nick, man, it doesn't seem to do very much. I mean, I'm sure it saves my life, but 
Um, it's not super strong. It's more like get my hit points larger. Um, all right, she's busy. Bibbidi babbidi. And uh, let's see. Okay, let me just use the crate on her then. I found the crate. The alerter is a great success. Glad to hear it. Um, I like also, by the way, I think it's just funny that they're bending over backward to not call it a metal detector. Like, they're like, no, 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 no. It's an alerter that when you detect metal, it alerts you. It's, it's so funny. That makes sense, Nick, man. Thanks, Ava. You've been very helpful. Ava takes the metal crate from you. Oh, stop gushing. I can never get a word in edgeways with you, your pleasantries and inexhaustible flowery prose. Boy. You know, sometimes I'm like, why don't I go talk to Ava more often? And then I talk to her and I'm like... That's why. All right. So, um, I've got Ava's alerter. And now, uh, we're going to go to the desert and find the crates. So, let me do a little bit of work quickly. I'm going to go to the desert. I could go to the bandit camp, which is actually closer. <laughs> That's funny, but I'm going to just do something very, very fast uh, right here. Okay, so this is just for fun, but I do want to say, uh, let me test out what's going on in my inventory. Why do I have these steel arrows? I must have got them from something. All right. I'm going to put away the arrows. I might need the cat again to talk to the Sphinx. I don't know. Put away this opal. Steel bolts. Wicked hood. Monkey speak amulet mold. Don't need that. I'll put away the passage of the abyss for now. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Thank you. I will do that. Put away this talisman. All right. And... I don't know why I have all those. Oh, for the magic, the ice magic. So I thought to myself, I'm going to the desert. You know, what's the smartest thing to do? It's, uh, uh let's see. To wear my full desert outfit and the disguise. Let's be prepared if we're going to the desert, number one. And then let's make sure that we take some water skins that actually have water. I don't have that much, actually, uh, in the way of water skins. I need to get some water. Can you fill these water skins at the well? I'm going to find out. Look at me now. I am ready to go into the desert Let's fill up these water sources. I don't need to do this, by the way. I'm just having fun, like, being overly prepared. So, Nickman said, toggle Ava's alerter. In addition to detecting crates and retrieving most of the ammunition you fire, the device currently scavenges miscellaneous magnetic objects from your surroundings. Would you like it to stop doing this? Um, yes. So, I'm saying yes. You managed to communicate your wishes to the chicken... It seems to understand that you no longer want your inventory filled with random magnetic items. Great. I'm glad I was able to get that point across. Uh, here, fill it the well. Um, all of my water skins. Top them off. There it is. All right. Look at that. All right. We got water. I feel really good. I need to wear the alerter, of course. And then now look at me. I'm ready for the desert. And I'm wearing a backpack with a chicken sticking out of it. It's just another day, you know, in RuneScape. I also have this 
monkey amulet. I could wear my essence of finality, though, because it looks cooler. This looks... See, this is a good look for an item. Like, if you make a really expensive item in a game, it's got to look the part. This is a good looking item in my opinion and i'm going to say by the way this is one of the few games that you can play that actually shows your necklace like final fantasy 14 does this with jewelry as well but this is sweet that they show your necklace usually games don't even bother with that all right so now um I could slice open the cactus. I guess that's a good point. Let's take advantage of this bandit camp teleport. This bandit camp teleport, that took me a long time. That took me about two and a half years to get, if I remember correctly. Oh, God, I got to move these mirrors. Like, are these going to stay here for the rest of the game? It's kind of ominous coming to this lodestone and seeing these mirrors. I feel like the sunlight is going to converge and set me on fire. I'm not ready for that. All right, can you, this this might be spoilery, but can I go to the pyramid and turn off this evil magic? Or do I need to have this for the rest of the, uh... okay. Okay, great. Oh, can I switch it without going here, or do I have to go in and and do it? Bam. There's my regular magic. Oh, it did sap all my prayer points. <laughs> oh, that's so cruel. All right. Well, I guess it makes sense. Is Arion always in here? Hey, Mr. Krabs, good evening. Or is she just, like, hanging out sometimes? And just like that, it's painless. Almost without sensation. What? The way this altar tampers with your mind. I've spent years learning one set of spells, and then, in an instant, they're gone. And these other ones are there in their place so easily... It is a lot to wrap your mind around, Arianne. By the way, I'm wearing a chicken on my back. Modern spells. Ancient spells. Modern spells. Ancient spells. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. If only there were some way to hold on to both sets of spells in the mind at once, or to work out how to use this mind rewriting effect. There you go, thinking big again. Anyway, I got work to do. I'll see you around. I think it's really... Oh, there she goes. Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, I finished it, my friend. I finally got there. Through Morning's End Part 2. And now we're... We're, we're through. She is... Um... Morally gray, Sir Theodore. I was going to say, I do believe I recall that the first time, or one of the first times I worked with Ariane, was at the Mage Tower when she was consorting with demons. Is is that about right? All right. Right, she talked to the demon. Oh, okay. Nice, Nick Man. So I see what you mean. Like she's still a hero, but she uh she's an ends justify the means kinda gal sometimes, is what you're telling me. Alright. Now, when they say there's five crates in the desert, did... I mean, the desert's big. Did he give me some kind of... 
direction where the uh, sandstorm was. I guess I could just teleport back to uh, Al Karid and ask Ali again, but I'm going to look over here by the monkeys. I mean, it'd be nice if it was just in this area. Between Shantae and the monkeys? Thank you. All right, let me look at the map. So here's the monkeys. And here's Shantae Pass. So let's just walk around here. I heard the chicken going. I hear it. I hear it. I need four, right? Oh, okay, Sir Theodore. Thank you. Mr. Krabs, I messed around with necromancy a little bit, but not too much, if that's what you're saying. I think I have it up to, like, 22. Noth, good evening, my friend. Good to see you. We are on Do No Evil. Nope. I got it. Oh, I need a shovel, don't I? All right. Hey, Chili, good evening, my friend. I, uh, Chili, I got a third age die from the giant clam oyster, and I sold it for a whole bunch of money. Got it. The crate is empty. You see a big hole in the bottom. Whatever was in here isn't anymore. You discard the crate. Uh-oh. Sorry, Ali. That's always nice, Noth, when you take that break and you get to come back fresh. Yeah, no evil at all, Sir Theodore. Just... Just a little bit of evil. Got it. Uh oh. What do you mean, air wave? Let me look at my magic. Crate contains some gems. You discard the crate. All right, I got some gems. Oh, okay, thank you. So, um, let me look at something really quickly here. I have water and air runes. 
run a little low on my air runes. I'm going to need to get some more, but I'm going to switch up my magic. Um, I mean, do you want to go with the highest spell? Like, is Fire Wave my best? Because it's the lowest down here? Oh, they all deal the same damage? Okay, well then there you go. I haven't done Fire Wave very much, so let's try it. There's all these footprints. Alright, I'm going to sweep down here. Come on, chicken. Okay, thank you. How are my skills? They're okay. This is where my skills are at right now, my friend. I tell you what, I was trying to work on rune crafting and was not not thrilled with my progress. Oh. Yeah, I was basically working through my skills to do the upcoming quests as much as possible. No, I need to use the abyss. I went to the Chaos Altar and was just using Protean runes, but it, it wasn't great. Ah, uh, that's why it was so low. I was like, man, I'm getting nothing from this. Well, I'm out of Protean, so I need to figure out a better way to raise it. Hey, Reaper Sid. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, we got some noted water skins. Got this is hilarious. You have to admit. Can you imagine like you're about to die of dehydration in the desert and you open up Ali Morsain's crate and it contains noted water skins instead of actual water skins. Ouch. Yeah, I need to try the rune span wee bit. I think that might help me. All right, we got three of the crates. Oh, back to... I hear it.
Oh. Scarab. Take that, Scarab. We got it. Well, Heathrun, we're trying to help the monkeys. So the monkeys are in the desert, and we need to get Ali Morrisane, the magic carpet man, to put them on the network so that their new colony can thrive with a trade route. But Ali lost a bunch of cargo to a sandstorm, and we got to convince him that it's worth it to open a new magic carpet route to the monkey colony. All right, one left, I think. So, let's see. Uh, you know, just another day in RuneScape. I'm digging up crates lost in a sandstorm using a dead chicken backpack that has been attuned to detect metal made by an inventor living in a haunted mansion in Draenor. Hey, Sassy, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. Man, I would love it if I could use the carpets myself. Totally legit. All right, let's look around. Oh my god, I surged right into it. I don't know if I went over to this one. Oh, was there a moving cactus? Is it a penguin? Yep, spy it. Telescope it. We see you. It's honestly a pretty good disguise. I mean, that's a committed penguin right there. In the desert? I know, Nick, man. It's got to be brutal. Like, I'm used to the cold. What have you done to me? Hey, Sydney, good evening. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, of course, Sydney. I should have known. They're Saharan penguins. And I'm really, really thirsty. Empty. One left. I got plenty, though. I brought a lot of water. I'm happy about that. I, I knew that I would need a bunch. That's fantastic, a biscuit cat. The one... Oh, I heard it. The ones at my local zoo are the cold weather kind. I love the zoo, too. Japanese macaws are cool. Alright. I 
All right, we got it. Ah, finally. Ali's Lost Carpets. With these, you'll be able to start a carpet network in the monkey colony. Now we're talking. Love it. Isn't that awesome? Like, can you imagine being a monkey and, like, or, you know, any kind of species, really, of animal, and you just find hot springs and you're like, these are great. I think I'll just hang out here. Uh, wrong button. Here we go. All right, we gotta go to the monkeys. All right. Oh, got to put on my amulet. I've managed to procure some magic rugs for you. It wasn't easy. Not a bad job. All right, let's see. Did it work? Yeah, look. I like how the rugs just came with, like, a man. <laughs> Was he rolled up in there? I got you on the carpet network. All's good now? Yes, yes. You'd be amazed by the number of tourists who've swamped here to see this pile of rocks. Apparently, the rubble has great geological importance. Ah, wow, what a stroke of luck. I was being sarcastic, Nimwats. No one is going to come and see a bunch of rocks. No tourists, no money, no money, no bananas, no bananas, no monkeys. Iwazaro pushes Mizaru out of the way and hands you a book. I've got to do what's written in here. Iwazaru nods. All right. It is a long one. Oh my goodness. Economy building for dummies. How funny is this? Alright. Let's take some notes here. When establishing a new colony, ensure first and foremost that you have the foundations of a strong economy. The following steps guarantee quick and easy economic expansion. Build three stalls from teak and cloth, clearing any rubble of debris uh, or debris that may cause unstable foundations with a spade. Two teak planks and two bundles of cloth should make a sturdy stall, and you'll need a saw and a hammer in order to construct it. Fill one stall with colored, uncut rocks, as humans prize these highly. One uncut sapphire, emerald, ruby, and diamond. Fill another stall... <laughs> With at least 10 bananas, as every monkey likes a banana. Fill the final stall with general goods, vary according to climate. For example, if in the desert, three full water skins, three knives, and one full set of desert robes should attract the locals. Finally, build a tent. A sturdy tent can be made from four bolts of cloth and a coil of rope. You'll need a hammer and a knife to assemble it. If this all sounds like too much work, convince a well-meaning human to do it for you. This is fantastic. I figured, Nick Man. It is nice that I did get the gems, exactly what they were asking for. I honestly have the water skins too, which is good. I brought those along. I I could give them my full set of desert robes. I happen to have that too, but I don't have the the teak and the the cloth and that stuff, but we'll get that. So we need two cheek planks and two bundles of cloth, and then we need um, four bolts of cloth and a coil of rope. Okay, fine. So uh, let us. Can I? Can you? I ride this back home. <laughs> this is so humiliating. This guy says. By the way, I like how in the picture his beard is brown, and out here it's stark white. What's up? This is the last time I apply for a job by post. They pay me to sit here and, quote, look interesting. They think that having a, quote, trained human will help attract customers. It will. 
All right. Let me go out and let's clear the rubble first. Let's get this going. I got a spade. Isn't that lucky? Now that's good quest design. The monkey is who you talk to for the carpet ride. I mean, that's fitting and also awesome. I like how they brought a monkey guard. That's sweet. We gotta have protection. We need some muscle in this settlement. All right. Welcome to Chimpish Airways, the premium monkey carpet station for a monkey in a hurry. Um, what does Ali Morrison think of this setup? He came here with a monkey speak amulet and accused us of stealing his carpets. He was pretty angry at first, but with a bit of heavy-handed negotiation, we made a deal. A deal? He collects money on carpets flying to us, and we collect money on the carpets flying toward his stations. Win-win. I like how their entire operation is just meant on, like, exploitation. Like, you want to leave? You gotta pay us. Are you about to die of thirst? We have a stall here that sells water. Uh, what's up with your assistant? Oh yeah, he's a bit miserable, isn't he? Last time we ever hire somebody by post, I thought humans were supposed to be cutesy and full of energy. If anything, he's driving away business. Yeah, he is. Uh, I'd like to travel. Of course, all travel is free for you from this hub. Where would you like to go? Now that's nice. Let's go up to Al Karid. I am standing on a carpet. All right. So let me look at my inventory and let's talk here about what we could buy. All right, so he sells shirt, robe, boots, if I want to buy an extra set. He sells rope, which we need one. I guess I could get one from Didymus. Right, I need three knives. You're right about that. Alright, I'm going to need to clear out some space here. So, I'm going to put away... Uh, well... Right, I don't think I need these death runes. Or these law runes. For that matter. I probably don't need my monkey Grigri. I'm going to put it back, keep it safe in there. And these noted water skins, we could, I guess, use those as well. Uh, Teak. I have Teak Planks. I think I only needed two. Uh, bolts of cloth. I don't have enough space for all of it, but what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go into my inventory. I'm going to wear my subjugation stuff so that I can sell my own gear. I probably don't need my ring of Keros, and I'll put away the cat for now. I need three knives. Put the spade in there. I might have to make a couple of trips. It's really not a big deal. And... Buy one. Two. Three. Alright. Let me go back. Use the Guthic staff on the essence of finality to store the power. Oh, that's right. The Guthic staff did have a power. Cool. Thank you. 
I will do that once I get my inventory free. Monkey Colony. We got a new place on the network. Permanent network upgrade. Bam. All right. So uh, let me build a stall. Great. And stock empty stall. Uh, use the gems. They take up the most. Okay, great. And this is looking good, but I need to build some more stuff. So I need more, more cloth, more teak. You know what I should do? Um, I should have done it in the first place, but it still will be okay. I should have just used my uh, plank box. Although sometimes the quests are finicky about letting you use that. I don't want to mess it up. That's a good point. Alright, so I need four of these. How many cloth do I have left? Two? Here. Alright, let's just go build the stalls and such. I don't have enough for the tent, but um, this is a good start. here build another stall that's a pretty nice little gem thing that I made there uh, general equipment BAM Now, I don't have the bananas, so I'm going to have to get those. I'm going to need some more cloth. Musa Point for easy bananas. Alex, good evening. Is Musa Point Oh, this is the place Yeah, boy, I haven't been here in a while. So I just take the boat from Port Sarim, or is there a is there a ferry ring over here? I tell you what, I was thinking about going back here with the apron and just taking all the bananas, but this is nice and easy. Oh wait, let me see, is this guy selling bananas? Sometimes he sells them. Sometimes you can get lucky. No, he's out. He's been tapped out of bananas. He's currently, he's always out of stock. Chillin'. All right. Oh, 
my god. These trees are replete with bananas. Did they say 10? I love the cutscene. I'll never hide it. I've had moments like that, Episca Cat. The important thing is to realize that you know yourself and put the bananas in the trash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven bananas. That looks great. You got a bank over here, you don't. That's okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Interdimensional leech. Distro, good evening. Oh man, yeah. Bananas in smoothies or milkshakes are so good. Yeah, oatmeal, very good. On top of cereal, delicious. I'm a huge peanut butter and banana sandwich person. I got four of these. I got the rope. I should about do it. Also, when the bananas start to go bad, you can you can make that banana bread. You know, an easy little cookie that I sometimes make. It's not really so much of a cookie. Uh, Unless you put a bunch of sugar in it, though. You could just take, like, mushy bananas and mix them with oats and cinnamon, maybe some honey, and then just bake them a little bit. And you have kind of like a little oat banana guy. Pretty good. Healthy. All right, so we're going to go back to the colony. <laughs> it's great, Distro. You're like, what? This is a good time to burst out and talk about how good bananas are in milkshakes, and they are. All right, we got a tent. Let's hit this one. Bananas. Ding. Look at this. Now they've got a thriving little commercial hub. Am I done? Iwazaru looks around. Iwazaru nods happily. All right. Right. I've built your stalls and a tent. I've traipsed halfway across the desert to find you a carpet. Please say I'm done. You might as well have drawn a big target on us and fired a catapult. Humans love gems a lot. <laughs> How are we meant? Let me handle this. Now, what's going on? Iwazaru explains something in rapid, almost dizzying sign language. Ah, I see. Yes, we need monkey knives. Seeing that you caused this mess, you'll need to sort it out. If you don't, we'll be knifed in our sleep. Oh, for the guards, because they're unarmed? Doctor Incompetent probably wants that. What are monkey knives? Iwazaru quickly translates. They're knives wielded by the fearsome monkey knife fighters. Um, that they sound fierce. How am I meant to steal from them? Iwazaru pinches Kikazaru and translates by pretending to carry a sack of loot. They're, they're the king's best and will notice any sleight of hand. I'd punch him and pickpocket him while they're unconscious. You'll need to have a lot of strength to knock one of them out, more than a little monkey or human could muster. <laughs> I 
That's a bit of serendipity, wee bit. But you know what that reminds me of? Um... I know, Distro. I'll tell you what. The, there's a bit that Jim Gaffigan does where, you know, he's up there doing his comedy and he's talking about how he doesn't like, um, you know, vegetarians who, like, brag about how long they've gone without eating meat. And, you know, they come up and they're like, oh, I haven't eaten meat in, you know, um, five years. And he's like, so what? I haven't had a banana in six months. <laughs> That's just like you, wee bit. I think I did that with a kiwi, you know, not too, not too long ago. <laughs> Where I was like, uh, kiwi, you know, I see you, kiwi. You're fuzzy. I haven't rightly had a kiwi in a while. And you taste it, and you're like, yep, that's that one-of-a-kind kiwi taste. I know, Nick, man. The kiwi is always so mysterious. It's like, how do you eat this thing? Do you, do you eat it with a spoon? Do you, do you slice it up and then, you know, shave off the outside? All right, so I got to go back to Apatol, and I am going to need my Gree, and I got to knock out a guard, and then I got to steal his knife. You peel him like a psychopath? I know, it's like, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Spoon is good. That's not bad. All right, so I got to go get my Gree, and I don't know if I need a weapon. Six monkey knives. Well, you know what's cool about this? It appears to me that I might be able to get my revenge on the monkey guards that have thrown me in jail. Maybe not. It's different monkeys, actually, I think, now that I think about it. But still, I like how they're absolutely, though, you can't kill the monkeys. They're like, no, 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 you don't get to kill them. You got to knock them out. All right, so I'm going to then travel to Ape Atoll, but because I have uh, my Gree, I can use the Fairy Ring instead of, you know, having to take the glider, which is a tent, like a small mercy. I mean, I should star Ape Atoll at this point. Grapefruit was like that one fruit as a child that I couldn't stand, and I felt so betrayed by it. I was like, I like all fruits. They're sweet and delicious. 
What is this incredibly sour nightmare? Oh, right, right, right. I don't need to do that. It was one of those things where, like, as a child, you know, I'd be having, like, Fruit Loops or something, and maybe occasionally I would get some... You know, maybe I had Cheerios that had banana or strawberry on it, and I was like, this is great. And then you'd see, like, your mom or your dad just, like, going at a grapefruit for breakfast, you know, and you would eat it, and I'd be like, oh my god, this is terrible. And I was just like, what is wrong with these adults? Like, they don't have Cocoa Pebbles, like, or Cocoa Puffs, like, they're, they've got this grapefruit. They're doing it wrong. I gotta be change it to a gorilla. All right, swap me. Gorilla me. Oh, baller. You think you're good? Bap. Oh, he came up from being down. Wait, what's going on here? I haven't gotten a knife yet. He's too fast. Oh my god, I got put in jail. Did I get one? This right click, can you left click to pickpocket? This like right click contextual menu is killing me. This is a bunch of, there's too many options. All right. That's too bad, Alex. You know what it makes me think of is that just Dismantle is so good. Dismantle is like just a lot of fun. I love that Episca cat. I don't know if your mother is still with us, but if she opened up your cabinets and saw that it was just all treats, would she gasp? I'm sorry to hear that, Episca Cat. Exactly. I, I swear, like, there's so many things like that in life where you didn't have it as a child and then now that you're an adult you like you can really go all the way you know if you want you might find out that it's not for you but some things you're like i am all in on this i'll try it Oh, boy. All right. I mean, how could they put a gorilla in here? No, Alex. I'm with you, my friend. I trust your opinion. And if you're saying, like, the controls are no good, controls are critical for a game for me. If the controls are bad, 
the rest of the game better be unbelievable for me to spend the time. Okay, Weebit. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Have a good night. That sounds cool, Nick, man. I'll tell you what, though. I picked up Enshrouded, and I've only been able to play like a half hour of Enshrouded so far, but from what I've played, it's uh, really cool. Very fun. That game has great controls. I got one. Now, the only thing I built so far, um, Alex, was like the, the Altar of Flame and a workbench. But I haven't gotten to do much base building yet because I only played for just a little bit. But I'm going to get into it. Why am I, it's, am I getting money and not the knife? Oh. Right click when the gorilla is punching. Okay, I got two. Two. See, it's like I got experience. Like, I did it right. I just didn't get the knife. So, maybe, like... It's a one in three chance. Okay. I got three. It looked like that, Alex. It almost looked like Seven Days to Die um, building with the big blocks like that. Got four. What do you think these monkeys talk about later in the day? Like, do, did you get punched by a gorilla? Um, I did. And I don't know where my knives are. Five. Uh oh, pushed the wrong button. Dragon scimitar? That's funny. Like, that's not a monkey blade. There we go, I got six. Now you're talking. All right.
you did it for the money just to try to snipe to get that uh, dragon scimitar. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Here we go. I'm feeling like we might be actually kind of getting close to completing this quest. You show Kikazaru the knives. Son of a chimp! Well done, I'll hand them out. Look at this. Yeah, they've got the knives now. It's sweet. I do love this when... They show you the progress that you've made. I am proud. So, you guys can tell me honestly, how many of you set your stalls up exactly like mine? I bet we all have different configurations for our gems, general goods, and bananas. What now? Slippers made from Kebet hide? A parasol stolen from the King of Verak? A tree grown from the sweat of the Chaos Elemental? No, I think that's it. What, really? Perm, perm, Iwazaru is trying to tell you something. Sure, that's it. Thanks for all the help. At Meccan would be proud. Is there anything else I can do for you? Iwazaru makes some strange signals. No, no, we'll be fine. That makes sense, Episca Cat. Um, I re should return to Sen Litton and tell her of what I have achieved. What have I achieved? Oh, this network doesn't go very far, though. We don't get the full reach. No, you're right. It is, a it is actually a great achievement. I was being facetious. We did it. We gotta get that network more pronounced, though. You should be able to travel there to anywhere. But I guess their deal only supports the money. Like that. Oh, that's cool. I should have thought about that. I like how the monkey, like, you're really turning the tables, you know, where at the monkey colony, it's the human who's the assistant. Who's a cute little monkey? Who's an ugly human? Give me a banana. What's up with you? Stupid human, give monkey a banana. All right, dude, I actually have one. Give him a banana. Ha ha, smelly human gave monkey a banana. Wow, you're one nasty piece of work. Have you ever heard of gratitude? Hey, Baldy, give Monkey another banana. Just because I'm not covered in fur doesn't make me bald, you cheeky monkey. Monkey wants another banana now. Gimme, gimme. Look, I've had it with you, you little degenerate. Wow. I don't like that monkey. Hey, Zach, what's up, my friend? Thank you for subscribing. All right, all right. Send Leeton, we did it.
I do like that you can go directly to the tomb. Oh, the Oss Man is here. I expressly ordered you to return to Draenor. She don't listen to you, dude. Let's take a peek into the family drama. You ask so much, but say so little. I am not an agent who will follow you blindly anymore. Do not argue here. I like how she's like, look, man, you guys are buzzkills. You're bringing me down in my tomb. Get out of here. I ask only for what must be done. Else, al Karid will fall to the tyrant of Menaphos. We must stay vigilant. You, Leela, must be constantly ready. The plan needs to go ahead. You don't realize how important this is. Only because you do not tell me why it's important. I told you I was done with your spy games. I have found my own path, my own important work to do. Oh, yes, I've heard all about your, quote, important work. The wildlife sanctuary in the desert. My friends find it most amusing. No. Do you think it's funny to see your father ridiculed as his daughter wastes time playing with monkeys? Osman, if only you could look less at the ways of man and more at the ways of monkeys. Wow, I actually have that tattoo. It's a pretty sweet bumper sticker. Enough! I sense we are not alone. What gave it away? The open tomb? Oh no, it's me. He's talking about me. Ah, I should have known. The chief monkey himself. I've helped you so much, Osman. Your gruff attitude and your gold-trimmed hat aren't winning you any awards this time. If you will all forgive me, I have real work to do. Leela, when you are ready to put aside this foolishness, you know how to contact me. I know. And then, then I like how he has this little, like, if you'll all forgive me, garbage throwaway line. Like, you don't mean that, and we wouldn't forgive you even if you did mean it. So don't even bother saying that. Your father should watch his tongue, Leela. Advice he rarely needs, I can assure you. All right. I've been talking with Senliton. I fear things are far worse in the desert than we could have ever suspected. Uh, the Osman doesn't seem happy with you. I don't think Osman is ever happy with anyone. So you're staying? He is not my master. Sometimes he is too wrapped up in his world of espionage and betrayal to see the desert for the sand. Nice turn of phrase. Yeah, that was pretty good, actually. Thanks. I like when you could take a break in the middle of a conversation and compliment someone on the, you know, their way with words. Like, that was actually pretty good what you did there. What do you think of the Pharaoh Queen? I mean, because we're talking privately. She's not right there. Sen Leeton? She is remarkable, but I find myself constantly holding my tongue. She's, oh, we already said this. Okay. Let's talk about the monkeys. How's your task faring? Strangely, is that not always the way? Now that you mention it, it has been the way. The birthday cake thing that started it off, that was, you know, pretty straightforward. It's been a bumpy ride. Um, wait, that's it? No, I don't want to return to the surface. I don't want to... Okay, let me talk to her. Greetings. Uh, 
do no evil. I've established the monkey colony, your majesty. Very good. This will surely appease... What? Is something wrong? Something is not right. Return to the colony quick. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. I come back to find all the monkeys dead. Oh my god, is that a hole in the ground? Wait, no. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Okay. That tricked me. That's where the statue was. Oh, I was like, oh my god, they've been sucked, they've been pulled under. There's just a smoldering ruin. Two Chaco Weiss. A monkey knife. And blood. Oh, wow. Okay, they really did burn it down. Oh my god, these are corpses. They, they really are corpses. What happened? As you look upon the dead monkeys, you feel the shadow of a breath on your neck. A chill carries down your spine, and you can't help thinking that you're not alone. Oh, there's a ghost monkey. Oh, I need the ghost amulet. A dead monkey. How on earth am I meant to speak to that? It is a tone shift. I mean, we had this amazing colony built, and now it's been burned and the monkeys murdered. I know, Siloom. I do feel a little bit bad about this. I see that the carpet network is gone. Was this Ali's work? Alright, let's go. I'll be right back. Can I connect the ghost speak amulet to the monkey? <laughs> Could I just wear two necklaces? Hey, Karen, good evening. Good to see you. All right, so we're going to go right back around to here. I don't know if this is actually going to work to talk to the monkey. <laughs> yes, happy Valentine's Day to you and all. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on. Uh, it's not going to work that easily, is it? A small but subtle change courses through you. You have a sudden awareness of how to join these amulets together. You create a cramulet. Yes! I've got a cramulet. This is so good. Let's see what the cramulet looks like. Well, I mean, it actually looks pretty good if that's what it... Hello? We couldn't stop them. They were too strong. What happened here? 
three masked mur murderers came, slaughtered the camp. I survived. I don't know how. You actually, I uh, do. We, do you tell him he that they didn't survive? Uh, but you're um quickly moving on. Uh, they killed everyone, even the three wise monkeys. No, they still live. Carried off by the butchers. Iwazaru was taken to the smoky depths beneath Polnivnich, where the banshees squeal. There he will surely be devoured. Oh, right. I gotta get the mask. I don't know where they took the others. Um, why didn't they kill the monkeys? The desert monkeys? They escaped these murderers long, long ago. Who took them? Three masked butchers, fragments of gods, scourge of my people. Uh, I'll try to rescue them. The one who took Iwazaru is a dangerous foe. Do not fight him from afar. Embrace his snapping teeth and deadly grip. You are not like other humans. I will track down the others to help you in your quest for death. Oh, God. That is a good one, Silum. That's hilarious. Okay. So. Well, one of them went to Polnivnich. The other. So I'm going to need the smoke stuff. Oh, cool, Sir Theodore. All right, so let me... Uh, is there a bank here? I don't have the special mask. Doesn't look like it. I could just go to... Uh, back to Alcari and just take the carpet. Earmuffs. That seems helpful. So this helps against the smoke and the banshees. Yep. I'm on an airplane with noise-canceling headphones and a COVID mask. Ready for anything. Yeah, Piscuit Cat. 
for sure. That's nice, a piscuit cat. Yeah, it's really cool how there's those are actually in supply and you can get them now for not prices that will make you weep. Yes, I do remember that. Oh, wow. It is much better. It was just like an empty kind of barren cave wow Cadillacs I sense you're becoming adept at new slayer techniques so oh, that's not what I'm here for okay um all right let's go yeah, look at this blue flame torch sconces. Very nice. Mighty Banshee. Ooh. Looking good, lady. Wow, look at the creepy faces on these caskets. Oh god, I didn't bring any food. I might die. I don't know if that was the right way to go, by the way. I just kind of did that. Wow, all right. Uh, there was a gorilla up there? Okay, I was just running. Oh, you're right, there's a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. I was worried I was going to die. Because I don't have any food. Here we go. My sisters and I thank you. For returning the monkeys to us, says Lee Uni. Mm mm mm, Iwazaru says. We cracked their little heads and sucked innards from their ruptured necks. Um. What are you? I am Liuni, formed from the lips of a goddess. Now leave. Not without Iwazaru. Very well, I shall feast upon your guts. Uh-oh. Let's see those beautiful lips. Let's not? Uh-oh, I'm doing, like, next to no damage. Yeah, I'm not going to make it because I don't have any food. Oh, she removed my mask. Okay. I teleported out. I'm coming back. If I'm going to have to fight somebody hard, I need the right stuff. Yeah, good idea. Oh, that's what it means, Sir Theodore. Okay. I just thought she was like lips of the goddess. She's just talking about lip stuff. I'm like, all right, all right, all right.
Well, it's cool. We're going to have to do something. Hasn't been done for a while. I don't have it, Sir Theodore. Alright, so here we go. Okay, so... I wield the Guthic Staff. And then... Oh, oh, okay. Special attack, Claws of Guthics. It, it's going to destroy my staff of Guthics. Can I get another one of these things? Okay. You store the special attack in your amulet, you now have access to this special attack via the essence of finality constitution ability. Great. Um, you know, another thing, if I'm going to fight an actual fight, all right, so that's on the table, then here we need, I need to put away this. And... Okay, let me see here. So I'm going to equip this, and then I'm going to go here. And I've got this, and my R is currently the power of light. So what I need to do is go over here to... Uh, is it in... The heart one? Okay. Claws of Guthics. Thank you. There we go. Got it. Excalibur? Okay. And I will need to just very quickly... Go here. So, should I um, bring some potions? Okay. I have uh, some super defense, sure. Oh, I see, Sir Theodore. Puppy's doing great, Episcocat. Eating too much because golden retrievers love food, but... 
other than that, very good. Let's see. Got super defense. Uh, I have a uh, magic essence, extreme magic. There we go. Yeah, dogs are definitely different in terms of the the care than cats, that's for sure. All right. I feel better now. I feel like I have some of the stuff that might help me survive. Let's go fight the lips of a god. How long do these potions last? Do they clear if I go like can I use them right when I go down or right before the doorway or something so I can just rush in? Or will zoning through the magic barrier purge them? Well, that's not what I meant to do. Cool, Karen. I'm so glad you've been enjoying those. Yeah, Factorio is such a fun game. It's so amazing and hilarious what you can do in it. I'm going to put some more videos out for that series as well. We're back. Yeah, I got to watch this mask. You're going to die here. Foolish mortal, I was made from the lips of a goddess. I shall tear off your limbs and lick the skin from your face. I like your bracelets. Uh oh, my inventory is full. What happens in that case? Does it drop on the ground? Well, anyway, I'll eat. Got him. Claws of Guthics. Oh, the melee prayer doesn't do anything? Wild magic in your face. Got 
Got it. No, no, just one more bite. Just one more. Whoa, they exploded. At Meccan, from my lips, she plucked my words and molded them into Liuni. I could no longer reassure the desert people, so they turned distrustful and fought with one another. Wow. So that's where meccan has been all this time. Whoa, what's going on here? Iwazaru, are you all right? Mm, mm. As you are unable to understand him, you free him and escort him back to the colony. I know, Karen. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it gets crazy what you could do as you keep going in Factorio. Okay, so we got the next one. Let's talk to the... Let's use the Cramulet and talk to the dead monkey. You saved Iwazaru. Now I have a friend, even if he is a little uncommunicative. Yeah, he is. Doesn't talk very much. That's for sure. Thank you. How? Uh, have you managed to track down the others? I followed Mizaru's tracks deep underground. The butcher dragged him through the caves full of giant bugs, even past a bug queen. Unless you are determined to die, be warned. The creature who took Mizaru is fearsome with her fists. Stay your distance, but do not hide, for she will find you. Thanks. Hey, John. What's up, my friend? Good to see you. You know what's crazy is they continue to upgrade the graphics for the game. All right, so... We need to find Mizaru, and it sounds like he went over here when we went under the ground with the scarabs. Dave, what's up, my friend? Yes, I got that penguin earlier. I don't, I don't know if I could spy on it again, but I think I already got it. Yeah, here's the dial. Oh, that little bug hole? Oh, no, it's down here. Oh, okay. Wow, all right. We're going in. Oh, I need a rope. When you need a rope, you ask Didymus. I need a rope, Didymus. Thank you, Didymus. It's great. Didymus is an amazing friend. He also has a shovel. All right, let's see here. I should have brought more food. I'm taking a lot of damage down here. Yeah, you can heal off your adrenaline. I just happen to have zero of it right now.
down the hole. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Karen. How am I going to get down there? That's a great question, John. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to um, Didymus. Ah, I'm going to keep getting in combat. Here we go. Thanks to the miss. It's like, how many ropes do you need? Quite a few. All right, here we go. Oh. Hey. I'm in. Oh my god. Caliphate Queen. Do I need to fight that? Okay, thank goodness. walking in here. Ayuni. E-C-U-R persistent. Or I-C, I guess. My sister's tongue only served to slip her up. I shall not be defeated quite so easily. Help, help. I can see into your soul. I see your fear, your lack of Confidence. Give up, my dear. Give up. Okay. Um, I don't want to give up. Alright. Here, let me wear this, actually. They said stay your distance a little bit. Activate Excalibur. I did it. Okay, Karen. Have a great night. I did not foresee this. Boom. You blew up. I am free. From my eyes, she chipped my sight, which bore Ayuni. I could no longer watch over the desert people. Without my watchful gaze, they turned to darkness, crime, and hate. 
Oh, okay. Thank you. So one of the things I think is really interesting about this, obviously, you guys know this, but just putting it together myself, watching. So there's the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkeys. And you think, oh, that's a funny joke. But then they work it in where it's like somehow the lips of Atmechan had been taken and turned into this monster. And the monkey that was captured was the one that can't talk. And then now it's the monkey who can't see when the eye was taken from Atmechan, which made Ayuni. What's going on here? Mizaru, are you alright? Uh, okay. Ooh, God. Oh, God, I can't understand him. Sorry. What's going on here? What were those things? You and your brothers aren't at Meccan? At Meccan? Us? No. We're spluttering idiots. No. No, I... I suppose I should start from the beginning. A long time ago, when I was still a young chimp, longer ago than you may think... There were two goddesses, Atmechan, the goddess of friendship, and Amaskut, the goddess of evil and destruction. I mean, it's like, do we need the second one? The first one sounds pretty good. The priests say that Amaskut isn't evil. They say that destruction is very necessary. Okay. Puff priests. Priests are paid to lie. We monkeys said it as we saw it, and believe me, we saw evil. Over the centuries, it was said that Amaskut kept away from Atmechan. Amaskut considered her too weak and insignificant to deal with. However, unbeknownst to Amaskut, Atmechan and some of the lesser deities worked to bring peace to the long warring desert. Slowly, they patched the ill feeling between al Karid and Menaphos. Fifty years ago, a progressive young pharaoh of Menaphos proposed an alliance with al Karid in the hopes of bringing prosperity to the desert. He was a worshipper of Atmechan. Amaskut was furious. Without war, there could be no destruction on the scale that she desired. She cursed the pharaoh and hunted down at Meccan. They fought a battle in the dunes of the desert. It did not last long. At Meccan was no fighter. Amaskut could not destroy the lesser god, but she could curse her, so she stole at Meccan's sight, hearing, and speech. Perhaps we were caught in the boundaries of the curse, or perhaps we suffered in sympathy. I don't know, but many of us desert monkeys lost our senses. How terrible! So that's how you lost your sight, and your brothers their speech and hearing. Yes, but Amaskut was not satisfied with merely incapacitating us. She took Atmechan's stolen senses and from them forged three foul creatures, Leuni, Ayuni, and Eruni, setting them upon the monkey population. Perhaps if we'd had our senses, more of us would have survived. My brothers and I were able to escape by helping one another. After traveling to Karamja, we heard about Ape Atoll and set off for it. As far as I know, we were the only ones to survive the massacre. Wow. How did you find out about all this? How did you know about Atmechan's feud with Amaskut, about the curse? You're only a monkey. Yes, but a very old monkey. You're not as stupid as you pretend to be. Ha! <laughs> and you're not as ugly as you look. What? Heh heh heh. Where's Atmechan now? The, that really is the question, isn't it? Shame I have no answer to it. Why did you return to the desert? Did you know that monsters would still be here? Hmm, ah, uh, well, 
Rescue my brother, then we'll talk more about that. I'd offer to help, but I'm more likely to lop your head off than the enemies. Return to the colony. All right. Mizaru is safe, but he ignores me, just like Iwazaru. Any luck tracking down Kikazaru? I followed his scent to Uzer, but the trail ended there. I am sorry, I can be of no more help. I'll check out Uzer and see what I can find. It will hear your approach. You cannot hide from it. Death awaits you. Okay. What, am I thirsty? Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay. Oh, the bank heals you to full? Touche. Thank you for that tip. That's actually quite useful. I wish banks in real life healed me to full. Banks tend to do the opposite in real life. Sap your strength. Take your money. Alright, let's see. I, uh... That's true, they do have air conditioning and sometimes candy. All right. We're doing amazing work. Take me to Oozer. Now my prayer is all gone. That's a shame. I forgot to charge that up. Hopefully I can survive without it. I regret that I cannot assist you in the slaying of Agrith Nar. Don't worry, you've done enough demon slaying in your time. Um, okay, thanks, buddy. Evil Dave, are you down here? This place still gives me the shivers. It does, doesn't it? Eruni, I hear that my sisters failed to crush you, champion of filthy apes, but you will not defeat me. This is a place of magic, a realm that I can bend to my will. That's unfortunate. Do you hear that? It is the sound of defeat. Alright.
Nah, I died. Ah, I should have uh, had prayer to pray against magic. I tell you what, I'm I'm out of practice with these kind of fights, and I'm like looking at too many different things, not paying attention to my hit points. I'm like trying to, you know, eat, but then also I wanted to get my necklace worn. Oh, you can hide behind the pillars. I'll try it. Now, let's see here. We're going to need... Uh, we're out of magic, unfortunately. All right, and then let me look at, uh, I got my prayer back. That's cool. All right, let's try it again. You know what, Sir Theodore, the answer is no, I did not. I also didn't think I would be setting up a bustling monkey colony only to have it burned to the ground. My goodness. All right, we're coming for you. Oh, wait a minute.
Oh, boy. I got it. Maybe. Wait, why did I get teleported out? It just... It bounced me out. Did I do something wrong? Okay. Okay, phew. Ah, defeated by a mortal. For my years, she stole all sound and crafted Aruni. I could no longer hear the voices of the desert people, and we became isolated from one another. Soon, the desert people became deaf to each other's pleas, reason, and mercy. Mercy left these sands. Dot dot dot. Well done, well done. I need to know what's been happening here. I suppose you'll want to know what's been happening here. Well, yes. No, I really think you ought to. Come to the colony with me and I'll explain it all there. Oh, we made it. The music is happy, the flames are not. We had always meant to return. The desert was our real home, but our life in Apatol had become comfortable. We had plenty of scope for mischief, what with the influx of half-wooded gnomes. If you hadn't mentioned at Meccan, perhaps we would have never returned, but everything fell into place. It seemed that finally, there were humans who cared, humans who would help us build a colony. With a colony, we could forge alliances with the locals, arm our guards, and prepare to battle Amiskut's monsters. We would have hunted them down if needs be. Once they were destroyed, we were sure Apmechan would be restored. The monsters struck as soon as you left. Why didn't you tell me? I could have helped more than I did. Mm-mm. Iwazaru wanted to, but we felt we couldn't risk it. If we awakened those creatures, innocent humans could have been killed. If you had known that, you may have not taken the risk. Um... And what of at Meccan? Your deeds restored my senses, Dr. Incompetent. My god! A goddess! That's right. It is an honor. Oh, I bowed. Who's he talking to? Search me, he's gone nutty. When I lost my senses, I turned my back on the desert. I was incapacitated, and the slaughter of my beloved monkeys robbed me of my heart. I could not hear their cries, nor see the bloodshed, but I could sense every corpse on the desert sands. I closed their eyes and wished that Ichthalorin would take them. But I was wrong to turn my back on these lands. Incapacitated, though I was, my wounds weren't so different from these three monkeys, yet the way we coped was worlds apart. What's the deal with these three? Most of the time they seem mad as jackals, but other times they act pretty smart. He's cracked up? I blame the heat. Knowledge is a quality, but it is always accompanied by worry and fear. Whereas, bathing in the sun is problem-free. Understand that, and you understand them. I see. Together, they were able to overcome their disabilities, something I had not been able to. When Amaskut took my senses, I turned away from my people, but these three turned the other way. So, what will become of them? What of you? I shall not return their senses. To do so would be an insult to what they have accomplished. As for me, I shall return to my duties as a goddess. Things are much worse here than I could have ever guessed. If needs be, I shall battle Amiskut myself. Thank you, Dr. Incompetent, for all you have done. Hey, crazy! Shall we get back to rebuilding this colony? Iwazaru nods. After hours of repairing stalls, Currying chimp ices across the desert, 
Stealing gems, punching monkeys, and recovering magic carpets, you managed to rebuild the colony. <laughs> I'm glad they did that for me. It's like nothing changed. It looks great. We did just meet a god. Amazing. And we fixed the colony. I was worried it was going to be in shambles forever. Miwazaru and Kikazaru are singing. Born from an egg on a mountaintop. The punkiest monkey that ever popped. Hey. Bouncing round in the desert in a bowler hat. A singer and a swinger. A wild cat. What will you do now? Expand our empire till it consumes the desert, then rain death and destruction upon your people. Uh, a thousand years of darkness awaits these lands. Gah! Ha <laughs> ha, now we'll probably just catch up a tan and slurp chimp ices. I thought you said the king took your senses. And you believed us? Is the human saying something stupid again? Iwazaru nods. Are you going to tell me what this monkey song is about? Maybe someday. All right, leave. Bye. See you later, crocodile. In a while, alligator. Oh boy, they even got that wrong. It could have been a Pisca cat, right? All right. Oh, I went to Oozer. Wrong one. I could just walk there, though. It's not far. I gotta tell you what. I have what I consider to be pretty good gear. And... I drank potions and used prayer, and that fight, that last fight was really close. Greetings, Dr. Incompetent. Well done, Dr. Incompetent, even here. I can feel at Meccan's grace returning to the desert. Tell me, if you can, what happened to her. The devourer, Amiscut, stole her senses and created monsters from them, unleashing them on the desert monkeys. Amiscut stole her senses. Sometimes I wonder if the devourer is beyond redemption. I have rarely heard of crueler or more disrespectful acts. How did you manage to restore at Meccan? The colony I set up was massacred by the monsters, but I was able to speak with one of the dead monkeys. How is that possible? Oh, I have these amulets and through some hitherto dormant magical ability, I was able to join them together into a cramulet. Perhaps the magic of the desert aided its champion? You may be able to add additional amulets in a similar fashion. What happened next? The dead monkey tracked down the monsters and I was able to dis restore at Mecca's senses. You have done well. Thank you for this service. Let it not be said that one's queen is not generous. The Pharaoh Queen bestows great knowledge upon you. Boom. We get a quest point. A bunch of experience. A new magic carpet station at the monkey colony. Ability to make a cramulet. And two treasure hunter keys. Hey. Oh, I didn't mean to actually click on that, but we did it. Oh, that's a great point, right? Yeah, because I can blend the amulets together. That's sweet. How about that? We did it. We finished... Um, do No Evil. And probably the next quest that we do is Within the Light. Sweet. 
So um, we also need to return to the monkey colony, is what I hear, uh, which to get more story wrap up, I'm sure, which is cool. And we will do that uh, next time because it is indeed my bedtime. Everyone, thank you so much for coming out playing some runescape we finished do no evil it was an amazing quest very good and we got some new abilities and we're rocking and rolling we've gonna move back over here to the elves now uh, for the quest i hope you all have an excellent evening or day and if you want to do some more lore driven stuff tomorrow we will be playing sunless sea and sailing around in fallen London, examining the Lovecraftian nightmare, and playing the fun story ship-sailing game Sunless Sea. Noth, Siloom, um, Episcacat, Nickman. Nickman, I w this is a very good quest. I would honestly give this one like a four and a half out of five because the lore was so good. It was a long quest, um, but lots of different elements. Very, very fun. Alex, Karen, John, Zach, Sassy, Fernando, Noth, Weebit, Siloom, Distro, Piscuit Cat, everyone out there, take care. Have a great one. <laughs> Thanks, Sir Theodore. <laughs>